everybody keeps talking about tearing and I'm like tear what? my butt? like what are you talking about tear? I was freaking out I was in, they were like okay so you're gonna push when I count to three and I'm like wait push what? push what? push my vagina? push my butt? like what do you want me to push? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Queen Sidem. Welcome. So today we are going to do a video all about TMI. Like, I don't know guys. There's no way you can prepare for this, but watching videos like these helped me be a little bit more calm. You really can't, you really don't know what to expect because every single labor and delivery is different. But I'm gonna try to cover some of the basics that are normal for most labor and deliveries, not all. There are so many things that happens after you give birth. I'm just gonna cover vaginally because that's what I went through. I don't know too much about VBAC or C-section. I don't know too much about that. So we're gonna stick to vaginal delivery. Okay, so nowadays, almost every single labor and delivery requires a catheter. to get this done more than once guys but okay so catheter is something that they stick up your hole not your vagina hole your pee hole yeah 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 they stick something up there so your urine could release and just goes into this big bag and it'll just be a big bag full of pee you know they don't have time to like do all of that um even if you get a c-section you need a catheter even if you deliver vaginally you need a catheter it's just what they did. I don't know. It felt weird. It's gonna feel weird. Not enough to scream, but just the weirdest sensation you've ever felt. Um, I personally had my epidural in the second time I got it done, and it just felt, I don't know. I don't know. But when it comes out, that's when it gets really uncomfortable. Going in, it's like, this is weird. Coming out, it's like, prepare yourself. You know, stuff is gonna be all in you. They might shave you. I didn't get shaved. They just, my baby, you know, came out. I gave birth in like 15 minutes, but sometimes they might shave you to get a better look. And yeah, just don't be offended. This is something that's normal for some deliveries. Okay, so after you push the baby out, let's talk about the postpartum deets. Like, stuff is still happening. Things are still going on with your nanny, badge, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so for the stomach, it's like super saggy. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a big balloon that deflated and just drooped. And it's like gelatin. Like, if you touch it, it's not like fatty feeling. It's more like jello, like wiggly, jiggly jello. And you're just like, oh, are my insides okay? Are my intestines in order? Like, is this okay? But it is. And the nurses will tell you like, yes girl, I know. And then something that I forgot, you still have contractions. Like you're still contracting. That pain you went through giving birth to push the baby out, you're still contracting after you give birth. And then, what was I saying? You also do deliver your placenta. So that big sac, you push that out too. So after you push out the baby, just be prepared. They're gonna say push, keep pushing, and you're gonna be like, but my baby's over there. You gotta push out the placenta. So I know that like this is coming at you fast. Let me reel it back in. This is something that's familiar I'm gonna tell you about. So you know how you have your period, and if you have a really heavy, heavy period, this will seem like nothing to you probably. You know what, I'm lying because I had a heavy. All right, I'm trying to make you guys feel good. So it's similar to a period, but not exactly like it. You're gonna bleed for for a while, guys. You're just gonna keep bleeding. It's not like a painful thing, at least for me. Um, just keep in mind that when I say things about this, it's for my, for me, my experience. From my experience, it doesn't mean yours will be the same. But these these are just stuff that I saw so many women go through. So I'm just thinking this is the norm. So you're gonna bleed. 
like you have a period but it's so much blood like think about it like an open wound you have a huge open wound right now and it's just coming out and it's not scary like a horror movie but you can get you can wear always diapers yeah let's let's talk about the solutions okay you can put on like the always diapers like the adult diapers and you can change those if you want i personally didn't purchase any um i wanted to but i didn't so what i did was use whatever the hospital gave me and you know the doggy pads pee pads you know yeah so i didn't have a diaper but i had the doggy pee pads that like i had like two of them maybe folded up they call it chucks that's the proper name i guess whatever they had the chucks folded up into a huge pad so picture that big rectangle pee pad so the length of that folded up into a huge ginormous vagina pad to try to catch all the extra blood then i had on a maybe like four of those thick thick pads that you wear for your period so it was just like a big underwear a pad here a pad here a pad here a pad here and then two long chucks like this so picture this is the crotch of your underwear pad 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 long pee pad long pee pad so it went from my belly button all the way to like my butt because that's how much blood comes out but it doesn't hurt to me, you know. They give you medicine for your after pains, like when you're contracting and your blood's coming out. You get painkillers. You're just chilling, like, oh, I got a long period. And then, bada bing, bada boom, you go get your checkup. It's good, you know. Um, and then when, with all the blood and stuff to change it, I didn't change myself. The nurses changed me because I couldn't walk. But that's a story for another video. I had no function in my legs. I was immobile, not from giving birth, guys. Not from giving birth, but just from my own decisions while I was pregnant. I did not use my legs. But yeah, they give you like this bottle that you squeeze and you squirt it out on you. Oh yeah. Okay, they give you the bottle that you squirt. Back then, I think they used to put some type of solution in there. Nowadays, you know the best bet is water on your Kitty, you just want to use water. Um, some people do like the antiseptic things and they like to steam or they like to just rinse off and get all that bacteria out there, which I understand because right after you push out the baby, you have a big wound. You just delivered a baby. You're bleeding a lot. So I understand why people use those solutions, um, liquid solution I'm talking about. But at the hospital I went to, they were like, we're cleaning it with hot, warm or hot water, whichever you prefer. And they would square it, they would pat, not wipe it, because like I said, it's really sensitive. So they would just pat it with a lot of napkins, change my pads, boom. Something else, oh my goodness, my stomach got so black. Like my stomach was blacker than the rest of my body. Kind of like your elbow or your butt. Well, some people's butt is not, are not black. Okay. Kind of like your elbow. I think everyone's elbow is dark. So your stomach changes color. Some people, they said that never happened to them. My stomach was like blacker than black. Um, one thing that scared me, like in the videos, everybody keeps talking about tearing. And I'm like, tear what? My butt? Like, what are you talking about tear? My thigh? Like, what? Your vagina kind of like rips. But mine did not. I feel like I'm saying, but me, but me. But I just want to make sure for the people who are looking for my experiences, they have my input and then they have a general input. So, um, I did not tear. I got like a little abrasion, kind of like, you didn't even need to stitch it because it was like a little, a little scratch. And I was like, stitch it, stitch it. Yeah, I like that, please. It wasn't even where the baby came out it was just like towards the side but i was like stitch it i don't care and if you do tear that's another transformation to your mom body that's another stripe just think about it as many mom stripes yes i did and now my stuff is back and ready what 
you know my breasts got really engorged because the milk was coming finally i delivered before my milk was even produced because i delivered my baby super early so i had to like make my breast think that it was my due date even though it wasn't my due date because that's when your milk really comes like after you push the baby out and my milk didn't come yet because it's like sis you got a few more weeks left we're not ready so i had to do extra pumping all this stuff to get my milk to start and then i didn't do it for like a few hours my breasts were like engorged so painful all the way up to my armpits swollen i got black and blues hair and you can avoid that you know just pump you have to pump so we have a, we have some solutions in this video guys we have the pads you can get an always diaper I personally did it the hospital way and was fine. Engorged breasts, you know, you gotta pump, let it loose. If your baby's not next to you to breastfeed, you gotta pump it out, ask for a pump if they don't give it to you. Other people said their feet grew, mine didn't grow crazy, but your feet might grow. A lot of people had weight gain and hemorrhoids. I didn't get any of that. Um, loss of bladder control, like just peeing all the time, super common. I didn't get that though. Everybody said you're gonna have to pee and I kinda like, I didn't really have to pee. It was pretty normal, standard. And the varicose veins, I think that's how you say it. The big, big, chunky veins, a lot of people get that. That's normal if you get it. I think it just depends on how your body heals. Like I didn't get stretch marks, but I also used a lot of products since like month one. I was heavy on the stretch mark products. But these are things that if they do happen, don't be alarmed. It's okay, you know? We're gonna go through some changes and then we're gonna come back. So, not I don't wanna say come back because I don't wanna promote that culture. So I would say we're going to transform into our mom bodies. Like, and your mom bodies are freaking army badges of stuff you went through to bring your baby in this world. So don't be ashamed of anything because nobody could do what we just did, right? Something that I will say though is that I found all of this super exciting. Like this sounds so scary to some of you because when I was watching the video, I was super scared and I was like, I can't do this. Like, And this is what you're made to do, not made to do. Okay, this is something that your body is could handle if you choose to go through with this. I don't know, I thought it was super exciting by the time it happened. So like watching the videos and counting down till I give birth and all that stuff, I was freaking out. I wasn't, they were like, okay, so you're gonna push when I count to three. And I'm like, wait, push what, push what? Push my vagina, push my butt, like what do you want me to push? Cause I don't know how to do this, I never did this before. I was freaking out. My, like I know my doctors wanted to laugh at me cause I was asking so many questions. You just get really, really psyched. I I got really psyched out like when all these things was happening. I was like, why am I contracting? And they were like, your uterus is gonna shrink back to its normal size, so it's gonna be a little bit painful because your body is changing. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. And every time you're gonna have a letdown, you're gonna feel a sensation. And that reminds you that your baby is hungry because your milk is, your your breasts are tender right now. It was It's just like, so many different things and cool things your body could do so when i'm the type of person i ask questions 100 questions no such thing as a dumb question i don't care I ask questions everything was cool to me i love learning and if you look at it that way like i'm about to go through something that's amazing this is so cool i didn't know my body could do this you won't be so scared you know you gotta like trick your brain and just look at everything as positive positive. and if you're confused ask you know just be like and if you think you're asking too many questions, say that. I know I'm asking a lot of questions, but can you let me know? Da -da -da -da. Guys, you can do it. It is the coolest thing I've ever done. So I gave birth and even before I healed, like even before I stopped bleeding, I was like, yo, I want to do that again. I swear. I swear on everything. I was like, sign me up. I'm doing this again. This is the coolest thing I've ever done done like minus the not walking part and no function in my legs i was in a lot of pain <laughs> guys like i would try to stand and i'll fall right down i have physical therapy but like i said we're not talking about that you gotta not look at this as something like oh my god all these bad things are happening to me no these are crazy cool things like 
or like <sighs> there's no words so so all the new moms out there like when you go through this it's the most beautiful things you can ever go through just so amazing and it's a learning experience and it's a life-changing experience and i just felt like wow i did not know that my body could go to this extent just to give life to the best person in the world like he's my heart and i loved it and i think it's incredible and there's so many things that our body knows what to do like the pain you feel like if you don't do the epidural the pain you feel that's to help you push your baby out like everything is purposeful everything is working for you to deliver your baby out perfectly safe and sound like everything your body knows what to do and you have to trust it and make sure you have a doctor who trusts you and listens to you so you can trust them and listen to them you know you don't want to be nervous during this time. not nervous everyone's gonna be nervous you don't want to be you don't want to feel unsafe during this time so get ready to deliver your bundle of joy think positive and just think about how all this incredible thing all these incredible things are gonna happen and then your baby's gonna be here and guess what when your baby comes out you're not thinking about anything I'm pushing out my placenta and I'm not thinking about that I'm thinking about oh my god I have a baby I'm a mom this is me you know like you're not gonna be freaking out like you are right now like you might be right now watching this video when you're in that moment you're in like a high you're not freaking out about anything like i have a video where my legs are just wide open and there's blood and i'm just like i love him i love him i love him so much and you're not thinking about it sweetie so enjoy stay positive and wishing you the best for your new delivery if you'd like to see more pregnancy based videos please let me know in the comments commenting on my youtube helps me know which kind of content to give you i'm kind of like floating right now so be sure to leave a comment subscribe for more and yeah love you